Hey, my name is Frederick, and in this video I will show you how to do supply diligence on Alibaba. Basically how you can use the different functions and filters on Alibaba.com to identify the right supplier for your product. And this is a video that we make in collaboration with Alibaba Insights. Okay, so Alibaba.com is the biggest supplier directory in the world. Uh, comes with millions of suppliers. It's so big that I c it can actually be overwhelming to try to navigate on this platform and filter suppliers. Today the problem is not to find suppliers. Today the issue and the challenge is to identify a supplier that is qualified to make your product. But Alibaba is also the most sophisticated supply directory in the sense that it comes with many functions that you can use to actually filter down the number of suppliers. And I'm, I will actually go to Alibaba.com and show you how to use these filters. But first, I just want to demonstrate. I just want to brief you on the different functions. So first, we have the supplier search. Most of you might be using product search. I don't use product search. The reason being that in the end I'm, I'm trying to identify a supplier, so I look for different signals specific to the supplier. I don't look for individual products, okay? Then I use the various supplier filters, okay? I can filter suppliers depending on different certification and so on. I take a look at the company page and upload the documents and lost the Trustpath profile. So I'm just going to go straight here to Alibaba.com. Okay, so I have already started, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start from scratch. Okay, so I'm gonna go with LED bulbs. Okay, pretty generic product. So a lot of suppliers. Okay, so this search gave me three. 2,300 suppliers. Okay, so I clearly don't have time to contact all of them. Okay. Now, what I will do is to go down here to management certification. And unfortunately, I should have adjusted this before I started recording, but it's too late now. Uh, either way, y you can see here ISO 9001, which is a quality management uh, certification system, BSCI, and so on, ISO 14001 uh, for environmental protection or, well, management system. So. These are management certification. It tends to be the more qualified suppliers that can actually prov well show such documentation. Okay, so what I like to do is to filter suppliers based on management certification. So I'm going to stick with ISO 9001. Okay. Now we have limited the number of suppliers to a thousand, roughly a thousand. Okay. Um, Still a lot of suppliers. Still a lot of suppliers. So I'm going to have to start reviewing some of these one by one. Or maybe I will add one more filter. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right, let me see here. Yeah. Alright, so based on adding this filter, we are down to 300 suppliers. And this, this might be something I can actually manage. Okay, so what do I look for now? I look for the main products, okay? But these are all specialized suppliers. All, all seem to be equal, okay? So I'm going to go with this one, supply Ningbo. And at this stage, you should be selecting maybe 30, 40 suppliers. And you have to do a manual review. Alright, so here we are on the supplier page. And this is the company page. So I can find a lot of interesting data right here. Okay, uh, In the company, when it comes to product certificates, verified product certificates, this is something that's extremely valuable to anyone that's based in the United States, EU, Australia, Canada, or well anywhere in the world where you need to comply with regulations, Okay, safety standards. So this is something I look at. Okay, looks good so far. And they even have a verified production flow, verified by SGS. Looks interesting. So I can already tell that, okay, we'll, right here we have 
a supplier, an electronic supplier that is making rechargeable lighting products and rechargeable fans. Okay, interesting. So if that's what I'm looking for, I would say that this supplier is qualified. You can already make that assessment. In addition, they also provide verified uh, ISO 9001 and ISO 14001 documentation and even the validity. Okay. So I've got to say, this supply is pretty sophisticated. Definitely above average. Definitely above average. Okay. Right. So, what else should we look for? We should, of course, go to the trust path profile. Right. So this is information verified by Alibaba. This is this is official company data as registered with the Chinese government, and now they uh, Alibaba is also providing such information for uh, Vietnam and I think also for India. So this is expanding, and 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 this is also making Alibaba the number one supply directory. It's, it's the only source for identifying, well, for accessing verified company data like this. Okay. So what can I? learn from the Trustpass profile. Well, I can see that they've been around for a while, 99, registered capital, uh, 6 million RMB, that's roughly like 900,000, 950k USD, so around a million, okay, sufficient. Uh, address, yeah, that's pretty much all I need for now. So I would say that this supply is definitely qualified, okay? And I found this supplier by first filtering down. I searched for suppliers, LED bulb manufacturers. I filtered down based on ISO certification. I did a review on both the company page and the Trustpath profile. Okay, not necessarily that hard to identify qualified suppliers. And once you have made this assessment that, okay, this is a qualified supplier for my product because of course if they pass all the checks but they're not actually specializing your product then they're not qualified to make your product okay um, you don't go to Toyota if you want to make chewing gum right it's, it's not the right company for that that's a dumb example either way at this stage you could go in and you could start looking at products but you don't start looking at the product catalog and then you make these uh, well, background checks, so to say. Okay. Now, I think it's pretty clear now. Um, okay, I uh, already done that. Now, just keep in mind here that even great suppliers can fail. And even if they pass every check, even if they look amazing on paper, you have to make sure that you order product samples before you place uh, well, a larger order and you have to do quality checks before shipping. Okay? So what I showed you right here, it's just the beginning. Okay? There are no suppliers that never fail. And just to go back to Toyota once again, if Toyota can fail, anyone can fail. But. If you want to learn more and avoid failures when importing products from Asia, you should go to chinaimportal.com forward slash sign up and get a free case study covering specification sheets, supply sourcing, buying product samples, regulations, labeling, and much more.